As the gushing living water of our Most High Allah crashes on the shores of our soul, it's time to take off, take off high into the sky to ascend far beyond anywhere anyone has ever gone before. And then the wise may shine as the stars that we have fearfully and wonderfully been created to reflect. For we are beings of love that long to be set free from within. For the door of joy is the happiness found within by love alone. And as the gushing waters of love crashes upon all the souls of all people of the earth in these days where love is pouring out his spirit with his running living water over all peoples, this is the time to glorify Allah. And that is his name. And Allah had no sons. For mercury is mercury no matter how many pieces it is broken into. But it's never been about what we believe, lest any man boast. And so as the living waters of love crash down, it's the season for open-mindedness. God sees no more Islamics or Christians or Jews or atheists. He sees people who love or do not love. Born again was never to believe shit. Uh, as a matter of fact, Isa said that insofar as born again went, it was like the wind no one could tell, and yet Christians defined it by believing. But that is why he said many will say, Lord, Lord, I believe. And uh, he's going to say, get away, I did not even know you. So in this hour, it's time for love's greatest power to come forth and realize that our, uh, we uh, must be as little children so that the love of his liquid hope for this generation, for this Joshua generation might come forth. And it's time that a, a great floodgate of Allah's living water, of his unconditional love, is finally pouring out his everlasting adoration upon anyone who has ears to hear. So let the wise now understand that the running water of his kingdom age, very best blessedness, it's echoing in the sky. And as that running water of brand new kingdom age hopes of love, uh, as it begins sounding like a thunderous cry from heaven above, know that peace is flowing, love is flowing, joy is flowing. It's flowing as a geyser of our living mercies, uh, an eternal uh, geyser because he is a geyser, uh, old faithful of loveliness, and his grace shall endure forever onward. And as the Lord's spirit of, of utter joyfulness uh, and happiness befalls all flesh as it is foretold, such deep running waters uh, will bring forth shadows of former things from reflections of our past double-mindedness that appears to us now only as a, a fake oasis, a mirage of water that really exists no more. It's like the light of the distant suns take thousands of years to reach earth. We are looking at light from some places that have died long ago and no longer even shine. So do you hear these waves gushing for are the, they are the sound of love's gushing goodness. And as it begins crashing like a great tsunami, it will destroy all of our hatefulness, all of our bigotry, all of our uh, spiritual racism. For those are the healing waters. And uh, it is the healing waters of the Bible of Bethesda. And in those running waters of life abundant, the cornucopia of truth. Only there can we now surrender our, our uh, rage as perfect love of Christ within us uh, causes our fears to subside. For 
it is absolutely clear that that sparkling, cleansing, running water will finally help anyone to believe uh, in the fullness of our very best dreams. So it's time to wash our spirits within of the running waters of his blessedness, for it is truly the most powerful healing waters of love's greatest restoration, as Christ foretold even uh, at Bethesda. And so it's time to get excited so love from love and hope from hope and peace from our prince thereof. And know in this hour that wisdom is now suggesting that it's best that the ignorance should be humbled, but it's also fitting that they should find some disgrace. So let it be stressed that it is well to shun those who are thriving in ignorance. They are the... Uh, they are the terrors. The wheat needs to know what the Lord is wanting for all of us. And all backward souls living in yesterday, living out the law when the law is no more, they will bring forth disgrace in the sight of he who is the Lord God of harmony, the restorer of prodigals. And he alone, Allah, is the reconciler of man since the exaltation of his holy names strongly repulses many due to their blinders of narrow-mindedness that make them as brothers of other mothers, Pharisees in the flesh, vipers who are uh, just as toxic as any rattlesnake. And so now, O oh, heavenly cupbearers, it is time for the living wine so come now unto God's people for a great celebration and bring forth the wine of worship as if it were some beautiful garments of Allah's most consuming fire of his loveliness. For any person, any person, Islamic, Jew, Christian, anyone who has a soul on fire for love's perfect will, there will be no condemnation over them by the spirit of love and they shall desire the intoxication of their faith that can only cause the Lord's highest praises of Allah to ring out like a, a bell, exercising the jubilee of jubilees. And through Allah's leading, all seekers will be finders of the truth that his ruby wine of charity is now in a lovely golden goblet more inspiring than the ownership of a beautiful pearl is that for all drinking of that wine that will not get you stoned, but it will make our rock of the ages your Lord forever, Allah, whose messenger is Daniel, whose messenger is Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. And let all those partaking of his living waters now realize that the purest kind of brotherly love always causes caring souls to have great concerns about the spiritual growth and welfare and kindness being shown to others. Because of that, great shall be the need for this message of Allah to be shared with all those desiring greater faith. <laughs>